Hey guys and welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel then thanks for stopping by. I do have loads of videos on my channel which you might find useful so make sure you check those out. So today I'll be sharing with you 10 of my tips for growing your natural hair. Um, that's one of the most popular questions that I get, you know, how do you grow your natural hair or how can I grow my natural hair or what's your hair care routine? Because um, I basically big chopped in April 2017 and since then my hair journey has been going really well. So I basically kind of wanted to kind of sit down and just go through 10 tips. So basically although I'm sharing with you my hair routine and I've got videos sharing tips and things like that, I feel that there's other little tips and things like that which I think will be useful to you for you to hear um, so that's what we're going to be talking about today so yes if you're interested in finding out um, my tips then definitely keep watching so tip number one prepare yourself mentally okay so any hair journey that you begin, you have to kind of be mentally prepared if you want to have the best chance of kind of, you know, improving the overall health and condition of your hair and also growing your hair to whichever hair goal that you have. Um, basically, sometimes, especially on um, my natural hair journey, for example, because I've been relaxed before and, you know, having natural hair can be challenging. You know, I find it more challenging than I did with my relaxed hair. Um, it takes me a lot longer to kind of do certain things with my hair. And um, because I've been on a, a hair journey for like almost 11 years, it's kind of become a habit, you know, it's kind of embedded within me to kind of just naturally continue with my hair journey and my hair care routine. But for those of you that are kind of just starting out, you kind of have to make sure that you're ready and that you're fully equipped in order to have the best chances of kind of, you know, um, reaching your hair goals. So just make sure that you are ready to, to kind of do this and that you're not going to kind of be put off by any kind of challenges or struggles or difficulties that you come up against on your hair journey. So tip number two, research. Now I've said this before and I'll always say it. Make sure that before you know where you're going, you've done your research. So it's just knowing what the basics is, you know, what you're gonna be doing in order to start your hair care routine. Um, you know, kind of, you're gonna be washing your hair every, every week, every two weeks, you're gonna deep condition every time, and you're gonna be moisturizing your hair once, twice a day. Just kind of knowing what the basics are so that when you do start your hair journey, you kind of know what processes you're gonna be following in order to get the best possible chances, rather than not having any knowledge at all and kind of trying to implement a hair care routine, but you don't know what you're doing. So just make sure that you research and that you're kind of looking at um like there's loads of blogs that you can read there's articles there's books there's youtube there's instagram facebook so many places where you can go so make sure you kind of like do your research so you kind of have some basic knowledge tip number three keep your routine simple okay I've always kept my routine simple with my hair. I've always kind of just kind of washed my hair every week, two weeks, deep conditioned every time, moisturized twice a day, massaged my scalp. At the time I used to do it like every day, now it's occasionally, but it's kind of just keeping things simple rather than trying to do everything, you know, or, or hearing that someone's doing this and you're gonna be doing that and someone over there is doing that and you're gonna be doing that. Just basically stick to a simple routine and just keep following it until you know its results. And sometimes when you're kind of doing too much, you get a little bit confused and then you don't know what you're doing. And then before you know it, you're like, you know what? I can't do this, it's not working. You kind of give up. So just kind of write down your routine, keep it simple and keep it moving. Tip number four, remain consistent, okay? So if you wanna see any results, you have to remain consistent. As I said, just keeping up your hair routine, just doing everything every week or every two weeks, just setting yourself kind of targets and knowing that you're gonna be doing this every so often. And that is the best way that you're gonna see results. If you're not consistent and you kind of sometime-ish and you know, this week you're doing that and then the next week you're not doing anything, you're not gonna see results. And if you're not gonna see results, you're more likely to give up. So just continue being consistent. So tip number five, deep conditioning your hair. Now, this is one of the things I always tell people that make sure you are deep conditioning your hair. Deep conditioning is one of the most important things, okay? This is what's gonna improve the condition, the health and the condition of your hair. It's gonna make your hair very healthy, it's gonna make your hair strong. Because basically when you're deep conditioning, okay, so deep conditioning using heat, okay? I like to use heat all the time, okay? So when you're using heat, it allows the cuticle layers, so the outer layers of your hair strand to open up, allowing for the conditioning agents to go in and kind of penetrate the hair shaft so basically it's very effective when you're deep conditioning and you will notice results 
as well very quickly whereas if you're not using heat you haven't really got any heat to really kind of help your hair, your strands to swell open okay i know some people tend to cover their hair and stuff like that and kind of maybe just keep the warmth inside you can do that but as i said deep conditioning is far more effective so make sure that you are implementing deep conditioning using heat into your hair care regime also making sure that you incorporate both protein and moisture into your deep conditioning treatment because basically incorporating both is what's going to help balance your hair um, it's going to keep your hair strong and healthy and to prevent breakage um, so yeah deep conditioning with heat is very 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 beneficial um, I do it all the time I've literally been deep conditioning since the start of my hair journey almost 11 years ago um, and I basically use like a, a light protein conditioner which contains contains both protein and moisture so that my hair is getting um, the best of both every time that I deep condition so tip number six moisture 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 basically some people are not moisturizing their hair enough okay or not at all in some cases our hair thrives off of moisture our hair needs moisture our hair basically cannot um cannot thrive without moisture okay so you want to make sure that you're moisturizing your hair and keeping your hair hydrated okay so this will kind of depend on your porosity level. So some people have low, medium or high. If you have high porosity hair, it means that your hair does not absorb and retain moisture for very long. So that means that you should be kind of moisturizing your hair at least twice a day to make sure that your hair is not completely drying out, which is obviously gonna result in breakage. If you've got like normal porosity hair, then you know your hair kind of receives moisture and retains it for longer. So you can maybe do a moisturize your hair once a day or every other day. Personally, I have um, um, normal porosity hair and I tend to moisturize my hair twice a day. I mean, our hair receives moisture in three ways through, as I said, moisturizing, through drinking water and through washing it. So make sure you are doing those things quite often. So tip number seven, avoid using heat. Okay, so this is for those of you that are new to this or you've kind of used heat in the past and you've damaged your hair because you didn't know what you were doing. Really and truly, you know, heat can be damaging to our hair, especially if you are not protecting your hair beforehand and you're using high excessive heat all the time and too often. Um, you know, you can just air dry your hair. Air drying is a lot more healthier for you. Um, but if you are going to use it, maybe use it once a month or once every two months. And when you do use it, make sure that you wash and deep condition your hair, that you're carrying out a protein treatment prior so that your hair is being, you know, kind of rebuilt and strengthened before using heat. And also use a heat protectant and avoid using high excessive heat because that is where you can damage your hair. So tip number eight, eating healthy and drinking plenty of water. I mean, we all know that really, you know, because it's not just about following a healthy um, hair routine because um, that on its own is not going to help. You want to make sure you're eating healthy and you're drinking water to hydrate your hair from the inside out. You want to make sure that your body is getting some, you know, some goodness and some nutrients and vitamins and things like that to make sure that your hair is going to thrive as well. So tip number nine, avoid comparing. I mean, it is so easy for people to do that. You know, when you're on your hair journey and you've been on your hair journey for maybe six months and you feel like your hair hasn't grown, but you've noticed someone else has, it kind of looks like they've achieved six inches in, in six months and you're just thinking, what am I doing wrong? Like, how is their hair growing that fast? What you've got to remember is that everyone's hair grows at different rates, okay? The average person's hair grows half an inch a month. Some people's hair will grow much faster than that and some people's will grow a lot slower than that. So it's all about just basically just focusing on yourself, you know? I mean, use that for motivation if you are seeing someone whose hair is thriving. Let that motivate you and fuel you to continue on your hair journey. But don't focus on that and don't let it put you off or kind of demotivate you. Because um, as I said, everyone's hair grows at different rates. But just make sure that you're continuing to keep up with your hair routine and, you know, making sure that you remain consistent. And last but not least, tip number 10, be patient. Now, that's probably one of the hardest things, right? When you're on your hair journey, you're just starting out and kind of want your hair to grow straight away or you want your hair to be healthy instantly. It doesn't take, it doesn't, doesn't work like that. You have to be patient and you have to keep going until you see results. When I started out on my relaxed hair journey, um, I think it took about, yeah, two to four months before I started noticing results. Now, to some people, that might seem like eternity, but do you know what? 
before long you'll be there and you'll be at that two to three month mark and you'll start noticing results but the most important thing is to be patient because if you're not you're going to give up too soon and you're not going to give yourself a chance to actually see any results so make sure that you know also that when you are on your journey you're kind of tracking your progress as well and you're taking pictures because obviously when you're doing that as well and you're looking back that's going to help you to see that you know you are actually making progress so sometimes you might not think that you're making progress that you're too impatient you, you you just want it now as i said but yeah just be patient the results will come as long as you're keeping up your hair care routine you know and you're consistent and you're kind of following all the tips that i've given you you will get there so guys, those are my 10 tips for growing your natural hair. Um, I hope they're going to be useful to you and they're going to actually help you to kind of, you know, get on track with your hair journey and, you know, to remain consistent and that you're actually going to see results. Um, you know, it's it, it can be challenging being on a hair journey. You may come up against hurdles, but make sure you keep going and you don't give up. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions about anything in this video, then do comment below and let me know. Um, also, don't forget to like and share this video if you think someone will find it useful. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.